Well, we're coming up quickly on one of the most important days in the calendar for anyone who tests and measures stuff for a living. I'm talking, of course, about World Metrology Day, which occurs on May 20th each and every year. World Metrology Day celebrates the science of measurement, without which the technology of modern society would be all but impossible. The May 20th date corresponds to the Meter Convention of 1875 in Paris, which set in motion the beginning of standardization across the globe. We always take a moment on the show to chat about World Metrology Day because, well, first of all, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, we know that. It's cool. Lasers. Uh, lasers. Uh, and secondly, our close partners at the Coordinate Metrology Society are the authorities when it comes to close tolerance, large volume, test measurement, and alignment. As many of you longtime viewers of Quality Digest Live know, we shine a spotlight on the society in our monthly CMS Corner segment. On today's show, we're very pleased to bring you what's sure to be a fun and engaging CMS Corner. Our guest is the current chair of the society, who is also the president and CEO of Metrology and Engineering Service Company, ECM Global Measurement Solutions. So, Gary Confalone, welcome to Quality Digest Live. Glad to be here. <laughs> All right. Hey, um, so Gary, Mike gave us a, a quick overview of what Mer World Metrology Day is, but maybe you can expand on that a little bit and tell us why just metrology in general is so important um, to our world today. Well, Mike, you know, this, this is a great question, Dirk and Mike, you know. Um, I was just thinking, you know, previously, I think I'm going to send you guys back to do some research to find out if there's a meteorology day. <laughs> because maybe we have something one up on them. <laughs> but, um, I mean, metrology, we, you know, we, we go to a lot of schools, and uh, metrology is something that not many people have heard of. Um, we have we talked about this before, but you it's it's all around us. You can't escape it. Um, whether you're taking the temperature or your pulse or your weight or your height, it's all it's all metrology. Um, and you know that's that's one of the things we try to bring bring with us when we're doing educational outreach and and you know tell the kids about you know, everything that's built needs to be measured. And it's uh, it's interesting because you know we talk about the science of, of of metrology and we always talk about it as a science. There's an art to it too. You know when you go to the coordinate metrology society and you walk the booths and you, you see the, uh, the the coordinate metrology uh, society conference, you, you talk to these people and you see that there there really is um, an art to yeah. to doing yeah. this work, right? I mean, Gary, these, these people are are uh, they're, they're, they're highly yeah they're they're highly they're highly skilled. So it, it's both knowledge and experience, and, and experience, yeah. hands-on experience. Yeah. Uh, would you say that that's true, Gary? Oh yeah, I 100% agree. Um, and it, it it covers all facets of technology as well. You know, there's there's metrology and chemistry and physics and you know manufacturing, you, you name it. You know, medicine. There's um, metrology touches everything, and that's that's why it's such a great career because you know when you learn it, you can you can bring it across the border. You can bring it anywhere. I'm glad you mentioned that because it is a great career, and and this is one thing that I know you are really really passionate about. You and ECM are really passionate about is bringing people into this career, young people. Uh, you do a lot with education. We we talked to you at. CMSC 2017 in Utah about some of the work that you and your company does with education. So what what are some of the things that a company like yours or, or people in general can do to help support educational institutions and bring people into the industry? Well, in, you know, it, there's, a, there's a lot you can do, Mike, and you know, and once you start, like, you know, we did several years back, it snowballs, and it seems to find us. Um, you know, we've connected, with some folks um, way back when with, with NIST and NCSLI where they had a ambassador's outreach program for, for doing education in schools. And from that, it spawned into, you know, going to universities, doing um, up in New Hampshire, there's a, a big push for girls in technology, which we've been a, a big part of. And, you know, one of the things in today's economy is, um, you know, like New Hampshire, for instance, one of those states that has no income tax. It's a big attraction, you know, for businesses to, to open up up there. And their unemployment is, I think it's less than 2.5% right now. And um, their biggest problem is, research, you know, personal resources and getting people trained. So, you know, we've put together some curriculums to help out schools, you know, to give them, you know, the technical schools, to give them, um, you know, a little background in metrology. and 
and uh, we've we've pulled from these schools too. We've we've hired people. Um, you know, we've recently done some stuff with vocational schools, and they just had a um, Skills USA in Massachusetts where, you know, vocational school kids were you know interviewing and learning how to um, get you know skills in getting a job. <clears throat> and um, one of my engineers sat with some kids all day and just told them the do's and don'ts of interviewing. But um, this stuff is is, is readily available. There's, you know, teachers with the same passion that we have that, that will pull us in and, um, and you know, help, help us promote this. Um, why we do it, maybe we're just crazy or something. We <laughs> don't have enough to do, but... Uh, well, Gary, no, you, it's, mentioned, it's, you mentioned it's girls... Definitely... You, you mentioned girls in uh, uh, getting girls interested in in you know uh, engineering and science and in uh, metrology and stuff. What, what kind of response do you get when you kind of present this to a group of girls? I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of curious what how this goes over. Yeah, I mean, when you, you're just saying that, Dirk, I get like chills down my spine because the, the kids aren't exposed to this stuff. And you know, we do have a. a home run every time we walk into a school with a laser. It's the big attractor. You know, there's a lot of other careers there, but um, the lasers do get a lot of good. <laughs> um, I think it was the last, or two years ago, we got the cover of um, Metrologist Magazine with the girls using an arm to scan a skeleton wow. that we did up at uh, University of New Hampshire. But um, there, there is, a lot of interest and you know there's interest from the adults as well you know when we go in there with lasers and all the teachers are gathered around watching what we're doing as well but the the kids generally aren't exposed to a lot of these things and and you know when you it's a whether it's a stem event or an engineering event or you know just a careers fair it's um it's always great to to show these kids this stuff i, I have a daughter as well and i've, I've brought her along with me and um, actually, next year she'll be starting in a technical degree at Rensselaer. So oh, cool. you know, I'm proud of her, and she's followed the path. And it is a great career choice for women. It's you can get a job out of college, and that's you hear about this on the news all the time. But you know, kids just having a really difficult time finding finding a career after school. And um, this is this is a great. You know, a great industry to be in. The, the science and engineering is great. You know, kids are going to get jobs. And um, for women, you know, there's, I think in New Hampshire, I was listening to the governor was talking um, at the last event. She was saying there's 20%, you know, of all the jobs in New Hampshire, you know, there's, um, you know, most of them are science and engineering. And 20% of those are only women. And, you know, I was talking to my wife about it, and I'm saying of those 20, I, I think 15% are in the medical field, like nursing. So there's really not, you know, a good a good amount of girls going into this. And, you know, we've um, recently, one of the girls that we had in one of our classes, there's, if you look on um, YouTube, there's some videos of stuff we've done at Spalding High School, but she just graduated from MIT with an engineering degree. Wow. So, and I'm not saying it's because of us, but it was great. <laughs> you know, she was really into the lasers and we, you know, we brought a lot of toys in with us when we were doing, you know, strobe, strobe um, lights and radar systems, infrared, and you know, the kids really get into that stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Well, that's great. You know, wow, his, his daughter at RPI, the other young lady at <laughs> MIT. Yeah, I mean, this is so it's pretty good. These are smart kids, no doubt about it. Well, Gary, um, you know, training and, and personnel certification are, are areas of focus. Uh, for the Coordinate Metrology Society. They've been for, for many, many years. So maybe you can walk through a little bit about <coughs> what attendees at, at CMS, CMSC 2018 are gonna find uh, in Reno this year, in July, uh, in terms of some of these opportunities to, to show off their knowledge and, and test against their knowledge. Yeah, um, well this has been a real busy year for us, Mike, uh, the certification committee. We've um, put together three more pilots so, and that's happened, you know, we've had meetings over the past several months and um, put a lot of time into it. But so at this year's event, we're gonna have three of the standard, you know, I'm counting with my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're gonna have three of the um, tests that we offered in the past, which are, have already been vetted. The um, level one cognitive 3D metrology test, the level two laser tracker, hands-on test and the level two arm hands-on test <clears throat> in addition to this you know this past year we've put together three pilots 
and as part of the attract attractor to bring the coordinate measurement machine people into our group, um, we've come up with a level one cognitive CMM pilot, a level two hands-on CMM pilot, which includes a lot of programming, and a level two scanning pilot. So these are things um, you can find them on the website if you want to register, and I really encourage people to register for the um, pilots. There's a lot of opportunity you know, to become certified. If you pass after we create the cut score and you pass, we're going to um, allow people to become certified. So, you know, as long as they fulfill all the credentials and take the prerequisites. <clears throat> Gary, in the couple of minutes we have left, uh, this has been, uh, you're coming up to the end of your term, your, your one year term as, as chair of the Accordant Metrology Society. Um, you began, of course, in July and your, your, your term will end in July at this year's show. So what, what's it been like for you? What has it kind of taught you about leadership and working with different people? What are the takeaways that you've had from this experience? Yeah, holy cow, Mike, that's a, <laughs> so that's a big question. I mean, I've never ex experienced, you know, the, the, the amount of work everybody's putting into this. Um, you know, it's, it's amazing. And as, you know, as far as leading, you, you, it sounds cliche, but every leader is as good as the people they're working with. And I work with the best people on this committee. Um, everybody's so passionate and works so hard. Um, and I never, you know, I knew everyone worked hard, but now, I'm getting the emails from every single thing everybody's doing, and it's it's incredible the amount of work, including you guys. You know, you guys do a lot too, um, and you know, even just putting something like this together is a lot of work. But it's um, it's it's been a great year. There's so much work to do. There's so much um, in so much stuff that uh, you know we have good visions for. Um, it's it's been super exciting, and I've really enjoyed it. Well, Gary Confalone of the Coordinate Metrology Society and ECM, thanks for joining us today on, on CMS Corner. Uh, folks can, can visit online at, at cmsc.org if they want to learn more about the, the organization. And the show, of course, is, I believe, July 23rd through 27th in Reno this year, if people want to show up to, at the event. Yep, should be a lot of good things, and you know we're adding a lot of new things other than the certification. We have, um, you know, some vendor presentations. I spotlight on new technology in the education zone, and some really good workshops, including one um, on STEM, where we're going to try to um, recruit some people around the around the country to to help. You know, maybe next year this World Metrology Week, we'll be talking about events that we've done everywhere in the country. So that's the hope, guys. And uh, I'm, you know, I get a lot of uh, a lot of good feelings about it, so I'm pretty excited. We awesome. are too. Well, thanks, Gary, for joining us today. We're going to see you in Reno in July. So uh, thanks again, and we'll see you then. Okay, looking forward to it, guys. See you soon. See you, Gary. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye. All right.